see what he's got on him. Hands behind your head. Come on, you heard what he said. No need for any more of that, Cal. Oh, now, Marshal, we know how to handle prisoners here. Man's behaving himself. Why push him around? If it bothers you, why don't you go home? Who's the Marshal here, you or him? It's not going to do you any good. Take a look. A holy Bible. <laughs> Would you steal this? Now, you had not a talk like that to a Bible-carrying man, deputy. And better treat him nice, or I'm to save your soul. Hey, you shut up. Got anything else on you? He's clean. Let's get him in a cell. Can I keep the Bible with me? What for? No harm in letting him have the book. Let's go. Hey, Marshal. Yeah, what do you want? How long before our trial comes up? <laughs> you sure you want to know that, Bodie? Hmm? <laughs> well, I tell you now, it all depends. On what? When the circuit judge shows up. Well, when does that happen? Oh, it might be a couple of weeks or a couple of months. Well, what happens to us while we're waiting? Well, you go to work. On the chain gang. Look. I wouldn't care for myself as for my kid. Now, she's only 15. What's going to happen to her? Randall's a sick man. You can't put him to work on hard labor. Who's going to pay his keep? No, he goes to work on the chain gang just the same as you. What are you after, Toiling? I'm missing a man from the gang. I need a replacement. That means you, Mears. You ain't taking me. You listen to me, Mears. Your smarts won't give us any trouble. What's wrong with the big man? I can get some real good work out of him. You're a good idea. Let him out. It's a big man's horse you want me to pick up, ain't it? Mm-hmm. And take good care of it. I might want to buy it for storage court. Now, wait a minute. Nobody's doing anything with that horse. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> and just how do you plan on doing that? As long as I can put up bail, you gotta let me go till the trial starts. Oh, you sound just like one of those jailhouse lawyers, don't he? The man's got a right to make bail, Cal. Sure he does. I'm not gonna deny him any of his rights. You just step over here to the desk, Mr. Bodie. Well, what do you think, Marshal? What's a reasonable amount of bail in his case? I'd uh, say about $50. For assaulting a peace officer? I'm setting it at $100. That's too high. Do you think the town council would back your decision of mine? Can, uh, can you make $100 bail? <laughs> no, of course he can't. He's got $60 here and some change. Then you're legally setting my bail at $100, is that right? That's right, Mr. Bodie, $100. All right. $60, 70 80 90 100 I want a receipt for that. Now, wait a minute. You'll find some interesting things in Bibles. You ought to try opening one sometime. I'll write you a receipt. Now, wait a minute. He's not getting out of here a cheap trick like that. Now hold it, Kel. On, on this one, I, I, I think I'd go to Consul. Looks like the stranger put one over on you, Kel. Now you shut up, Rice. Mr. Bodie, you think you might do me a favor? If I can. Well, if there's anybody in town who needs a barn build or a house or anything, I got my tools and I'm a darn good carpenter. All I have to do is Put up the money to get me out of here. I'll see what I can do, Randall. Here's a gun, Bodie. Sure. I buckle that gun belt on and you arrest me again for carrying firearms. No, thank you. How did you get out of this part of the country? You've got my gun and a hundred dollars that belongs to me. I'll be around to stand trial and get it back. You've got one hour to get out of town. 
Here's your receipt. I've seen a lot of lawmen go bad, Marshal, but nothing like this. Making slaves out of men who haven't done anything. <laughs>